Hello there, and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Star Wars Armada Gladiator class Star Destroyer. It's right here in the most reflective packaging uh, you will ever see on the channel. <laughs> yeah, I picked up one of these because they've been uh, out of stock for quite some time and uh, I thought now would be the time to, to pick one up. I will be covering, of course, the Star Wars Clone Wars uh, ships at some point. Um, so I do thank you for your, uh, your, your patience um, with getting hold of uh, those uh, models. One of these ships will set you back £30, but of course you can um, pick it up for slightly cheaper various places. Let's unbox this. Let's rip and tear. Uh, have a look what we've got ourselves into. Let's see um, just how good this Gladiator class is. So, this is the ship itself. We'll have a look a closer look at that in a moment. It says originally designed as an escort for larger star destroyers, the Gladiator class star destroyer is most effective as a patrol ship at the fringes of the galaxy. Its brutal armament of turbo lasers, concussion missiles, laser cannons, and tie squadrons can outclass any local opposition it encounters while maintaining the Empire's new order. This pack includes everything you need to add one Gladiator class Star Destroyer to your game. Game contents, one painted plastic ship with base and fin, one speed dial, two command dials, two ship tokens, 10 upgrade cards and 23 assorted tokens. So, without further ado, let's pop this open. As always, comes in, in a cardboard box there and then a plastic um, container, which is easily just popped open like so. Uh, I always like to have a look at the ship first uh, with, with these. Um, so, as you can see, it uh, flew out there. It wants to get into the action straight away. Um, looks all right, yeah. I mean, I like the engines and things in the back. It's fantastic, right? But yeah, this is the Gladiator. You got a hanger there, massive hanger, I think that is. Um, Wow, so there you go. So I think that the um, shading is a bit messy uh, around, around here. Um, I think they could have done a better job. It does look a bit rough. Um, you know, there's, there's areas where there isn't any at all. Nothing stopping you from uh, getting some uh, shade and shading um, some of these areas, maybe even painting that hanger uh, blue. Yeah, it's almost like the shading, they, they haven't even shaded the, the back end there. But, um, or maybe they've just covered it in shade and then just sort of wiped it off. Interesting one. I would have preferred this to be a little bit more detailed. But uh, it's got a nice array of turbo lasers. So yeah, that's the ship. I always like to compare it to an Imperial Star Destroyer, which is right here. And uh, yeah, you can see right there that it is pretty small compared to one of them, but uh, still quite a large ship in its own right. You know, still a fair bit bigger than the Corvettes of the Rebels or the Ned Bees. But uh, yeah, that's where it stacks up. Might be worth getting two of them. I think that would uh, that would work quite well in a game. What else do you get? Well, we'll read this out right here. Gladiator class Star Destroyer. Um, you get the Gladiator class Star Destroyer plastic ship, one plastic base, one plastic support fin, two command dials, one speed dial, one ship token, four shield dials with plastic connectors, three defense tokens, four command tokens, three victory tokens, three objective tokens, one main ship ID token, two ship ID tokens, two squadron ID tokens, two ship cards, the Gladiator 1 class Star Destroyer and the Gladiator 2 class Star Destroyer. Ten upgrade cards, so Admiral Screed, Admiral Sherano. Weapons Liaison, Sensor Team, Nav Team, Engine Techs, Expanded Launchers, Assault Concussion Missiles, Demolisher, and Insidious. Uh, no extra rules or anything, it is just the component list. Not really any need to, to keep that, other than, uh, you know, it's, it's contents. Um, so this is the uh, base and the fin. You've got the two command dials in there. So let's just pop this out, pop that here, 
and then push that on there. And that's what it will look like on the uh, on the game. So Gladiator class. These are all the tokens. And the cards, if you can get these out, of course. So yeah, these are the two cards. So Gladiator 1 class Star Destroyer, Gladiator 2 class Star Destroyer. The only difference is the colour of the dice. They've got the same uh, command tokens. Uh, you've got two blue there instead of, of the one, but the command, the squadron and engineering are all the same, same number of shields. Um, actually the same uh, upgrade cards as well. Uh, the class 1 is only 56 points, whereas the class 2 is 62 uh, points. These are the upgrade cards that you that you get with this. Admiral Screed, Admiral Sharanu, Weapons Liaison, Sensor Team, Nav Team, Engine Techs, Expanded Launchers, Assault Concussion Missiles, Demolisher, and Insidious. So there you go. That's quite nice. The black dice in your battery armament can be used at medium range. Ooh. The effect applies only while attacking the rear hull zone of a ship. Ooh. So you can use them at medium but uh, you've got to get behind a, a ship. I mean, it's it's not, it's a decent speed, you know, it's a three speed. Yeah, that's going to be tough to sort of maneuver your ship around, um, but that's quite nice. You know, if you pay, if you go for the cheaper one, you're going to get more uh, black dice. But anyway, that's the cards, both of them. Uh, these are all the tokens, as usual, uh, your speed dials and your command token, your speed dial and your command tokens. And then you get these, and this is the ship uh, token two. So quite a small card, really, grand scheme of things. But that would go there. I like the uh, degrees of firing on that. Very, very nice. Um, and yeah, want to hold on to your proof of purchase as well, as always. So there you go. Uh, that is my unboxing and first look at the uh, Gladiator class Star Destroyer. What do you guys think? Do you run one of these in your games or do you have a, a couple of them? Please do put your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching The Emperor Protects.